Oh, nice place you got here. Oh, yeah, it's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. <laughs> but uh, this, this here is my place, and my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. Yeah, news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this the place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen. I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to, uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. Boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend $2 million on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. All right, I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now, you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Get in the car. I'm calling Lester. What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital, tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this Hayseed Bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Well, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then... What? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? 
Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, 